Welcome back nail queens. If you saw my shameless nails video last week, then this is a continuation of that mani. I'm going to show you how I did this tortoiseshell nail design using Madame Glam gel polishes. This gel polish right here is like a sheer jelly-like color and let me tell you it is the perfect, absolute perfect color for a tortoiseshell nail design. It looks like doo-doo when you first apply it on your nails. But when it's finished with these two colors, like mixed in and everything, a little gold foil, it looks perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply gel base to my nail and then cure that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds. So the color that I called Doo Doo earlier is called Caffeinated and my coffee loving heart is all about that name because I'm always caffeinated in one way or another. So I'm going to apply it to my nail. I am wearing white, like a milky white, pink white builder gel on my nails. So technically my nails aren't like clear, translucent. I do like that so that you can't see the free edge extended out. And I'm going to apply a total of two layers of caffeinated onto my nails. So I'm just applying a nice thin layer. I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds and then come right back and apply the second layer. So keep your gel polish layers nice and thin because if they're too thick, it makes it more difficult to cure. You don't want uncured gel on your fingers. It can lead to contact dermatitis and that's a big, big problem. Once my second layer is cured, I'm going to pull out these two polishes. So you want a black gel polish and then like a nice like brownish red it doesn't have to be like super brown it doesn't have to be super red something in the middle like that so I'm putting those on my nail art palette and I'm applying a layer of gel base onto my nail but I'm not going to cure the gel base the reason I'm using a gel base is so that it gives the black gel polish that I'm applying in spots on my nail a slippery layer to kind of move about so I'm going to apply black spots there's no rhyme or reason, they don't have to be perfect circles, in several different spots on the nail to give it really a spotted tortoiseshell look. Once I'm done with the black spots, I'm going to dip into the like brownish red and I'm going to mix it in with the black spots. So what I'm kind of doing is diffusing out the edges of the black spots and also mixing the brownish red into it. I don't know if that makes sense. Just mix the two together. Try not to make the spots too large so that they're not like literally touching each other. But yeah, just mix in the brownish red into the black and do it for all of the little spots you got on there and then cure your nail. So I decided to add a little bit more black into the center of them to keep the center center part more dark so that the outer edges are more diffused and the center is more opaque if that makes sense. And I feel like the lower left corner is a little bare so I'm going to give it a tiny little spot on the edge there. Just going to put like a little black spot, mix in a little bit brown and then cure my nails. So we're going to get a little glamorous here with this gold foil. I got this off of Amazon. Y'all, it's a huge container. So I'm just going to open it a little bit. I don't even have to open it all the way. There's some foil here on the rim. If I opened it all the way, the foil would have flown everywhere. I'm just trying to get the foil on my plate here. Oh, hey, look at that little buddy. Oh, you did your work. Oh, it, it already landed on my nail. How cool is that? 
Okay, so I'm just gonna use my brush. My brush still has a little bit of gel on it, so it makes it easy to pick up the foil and then just put the foil in random spots on my nail. I'm trying to make sure that it's not too thick. It's more like a broken up stream of foil. Just do whatever your heart wants. Put as much foil or as little foil as you want. I feel like the foil just adds really nice like texture to the design without overpowering it and making it look tacky. So now it's time to top coat everything. This is really gonna help smooth out everything so that the foil doesn't have a texture. If you apply your top coat, cure it, and you still feel like there's like a little texture to the nail, add another layer of gel top coat and then cure. But I only had to apply one layer of gel top coat. The foil laid pretty flat, so that was perfect. So this is the completely cured and finished design. I really love how this tortoise shell looked and I like that I have like the green dip powder with it on the side. I feel like it complements it. You can use a brown dip powder with a complimenting tortoise shell mani, but I really wanted the green to help the tortoise shell really pop. So that is it for today's video. I have jelly tips over on my right hand, which is the left side of the screen for you guys. I'm really trying to get into jelly tips. If you guys are into jelly tips, leave a comment below. I'd be interested in knowing what kind of jelly tips you guys use and recommend. So thank you guys so much for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.